What's going on, everybody? It is me, your boy, Flash Jones, back again with another video. And in this one, everybody, we got some 72-foot center beam flat cars to take a look at from Whopper's mainline. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right on in to this video. All right, good people. Before we unbox these 72 foot center beam flat guards, we gotta see where we can get them from. So I got Walter's website pulled up here and I have the, uh, the center beam flat car and the Canadian, Canadian Pacific paint scheme pulled up for you guys to take a look at. And so here's some dope on it. So you have 72 foot center beam flat car with standard beam ready to run. Of course, this is not the opera version, opera window version of the center beam. This is the standard one, um, the one that I believe came out prior to the opera. Uh, window style um, flat cars and this is just a couple pictures that they have here on their website wrong of course we're going to take a look at this here in a second but in any event this is where you can get it from currently it's in stock it will be discontinued when sold out according to walters msrp is right at 30 bucks I'm um, sure you could be probably able to find this uh, maybe a little cheaper at some brick and mortar hobby shops and other places uh, if you choose. But if you want to get it from Walters, um, you can get it for 30 bucks if you have their Yard Master. Um, if you're part of the Yard Master Club, you may be able to get it for a little bit cheaper. But in any event, this is where you can get it from. And on a side note, because I did see something here a second ago that kind of caught my eye, they do have some lumber loads. <clears throat> Today is June 25th. So. As of June 25th, you can get a couple of these uh, lumber loads at a nice little discount. So if you need lumber loads, which I know I do, I might, as soon as we get done with the video today, I might swing back over here and pop in a couple orders for some lumber loads. And they, they got a couple of them. But obviously not the ones that we all really like because all of the ones that we really like are still up in price. But anywho... There are some of the loads for you. I don't have any of the loads on me. This is just a product review of the car naked without. And the just load. to give you guys a quick look at that's what the Opera style window um, flat car looks like. Just to kind of give you guys a little bit of a comparison between the standard beam and the center and the Opera uh, window beam. I've never been the biggest fan of these of this the look of these kinds of cars. I don't really like them yet. I have a couple of them just because I like to have a little bit of diversity on my layout. Um, but I've always liked the look of the standard center beam flat cars way more than the opera style. But these ones have become a little more popular um, for whatever reason um, in the modern era. All right, guys. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get this guy unboxed. Before we do that, you see the car in this uh, plastic box here. Open the face so you can see it. Walther's main line. Look at the top. Walther's main line across the top. Same thing on the bottom. Walther's main line. On the end, uh, you have some car information. Walters Mainline, of course, 72 foot Sunbeam Flat Car, Canadian Pacific, number 318300, part number 910 4828, fully assembled turn metal wheel sets, Proto Max metal knuckle couplers. So, and that's pretty all the information you're going to get on the car here. We've all seen this before on the back of Walters boxes and on uh, pretty much all their mainline boxes. This is pretty standard. So, let's go ahead and get this guy open. So there's a warranty card down in there, <clears throat> if you need that. Looking at the car, this appears to be two-part style casing. So you have a plastic sleeve that goes over the top, that just slides off. Then you have the car in here itself. Let's see if I can get this like this. So yeah, and you just click you know, there's a little opening here at the top. Just stick your finger down in there, pick her on up. She comes right out. Okay, guys. So we have this 72 foot center beam flat car out of the packing. And just looking at this car outright, just standing here, it looks awesome. I know there's not a lot of detail to it, it's not a lot on it, but I, I've always admired the way that these cars look, especially over the opera window style. Um, center beam flat cars and so now that i finally have my hands on a couple of them i really just uh, just admiring the way that these cars look um i guess we'll just start you know maybe here in the center just looking across the open area of the car you have these center beams these vertical center beams um that are kind of the vertical supports for the car and then uh you have about two of them going in uh, one direction two diagonal beams 
going from top to bottom, left to right, and then continuing towards the break end over here, you have two more uh, diagonal top to bottom, right to left, or left to right if you're going bottom up. Um, but obviously you can see this, so you know what I'm saying. But you got two center, uh, two diagonal beams here that kind of give it some more in, in, uh, structural integrity and support um, when this car is loaded, of course. Um, but it's, it's, it looks nice. It's clean. It's not a whole lot going on here. Of course, you have these, these um, some more horizontal. I guess you'd call these maybe just, just random supports uh, from when they uh, place the lumber loads on there so that when they get the um, the jack, the, the forklift to slide them under the, the, the loads, they can just kind of slide under without, you know, the cars or the wood being firmly pressed on the bottom of the floor. So that's probably maybe my guess. I don't exactly know what their purpose are, but it adds something to the car, and I'm sure that's probably prototypical, though I'm not 100% sure. So let's just pull her out here, take a little look. So looking here at the AN, very clean, very clean on the A end here. So looking here, you have your metal coupler, and oh, and it's a and your your coupler box, your draw bar. It is movable, so these will corner much more easily if you have tighter curves in your layout. Uh, no etched metal here, but you do have grab irons running up towards the top of the car. You have a uh, horizontal grab iron running across, and then more grabs here. Top right corner, you have your road name, road number CP318300. So you got that there, and you got some wording here, caution. Uh, it's not coming through on camera, there it is. Caution, no walking surface on top of car. And I can read that pretty easily without looking at the camera, though it is easier looking through the camera because it just picks it up a little bit better. Um, but very minimalistic detail. Down in here, you have some more wording. Um, see if I can't pull that in. Maybe 38 inch wheels. I don't know, but you got some more, some more really small wording in here. I can kind of make it out, but great E coupler, two IC stabilizing. That says two OC stabilizing. So you got some wording down in there. Not really sure what all it stands for but it's there nonetheless. So real quick, while I got you here, looking at the BN, the bulkhead on the BN, which I'm sure there's one on the AN as well, but looking down here at the BN, on the bulk end of it, the bulkhead, um, it pretty much tells you what, and this is prototypical, I have seen this on a lot of bulkhead flat cars, and on the center of the flat cars, that they do not want you to load it to one side, they want you to load it evenly. So if you have a lot of load, you know, even if you have, even if you're gonna model this on your layout, don't just put one load on one side and leave the other side empty because it'll have the tendency when it corners to tip over. So you're going to want to, um, you know, either put some weights on them, which I plan to do. I plan to put on maybe some kind of maybe a metal plate of some kind to run vertically or I may try to put something that runs uh, the length of the car here that just will lay down. But in any, any event, you want to make sure you load it right because it will tip over. Um, so looking down here more so on the B end. It has some small lettering that Walters was able to model on here. And all it is is the loading and unloading instructions. Let me see here. Maintain equal load, which is exactly what I've just been saying. Pause and read this if you need it. Safety first when cars empty, place the end of tie down chain opposite riser key slot cable over the post hook and tighten winch okay so pause and read that if you need to i'm not going to try to read all that it's going to start stuttering and everything here if i try to read all that but uh you can see it warning do not move unless car tie downs are secured in key slots so you know all of this is legible uh let's see here i may not be able to pick that up for you maybe try to turn it around There you go. So you can read that. Pause and read it if you need to. But that is what you have on each end of the car. So this is the AN now. 
and the same exact thing that you saw on the B in bulkhead you saw you can see here on the A in bulkhead and it's on both sides of course so both sides of the A end bulkhead and both sides of the B end bulkhead so while I got it up let's take a look at the bottom here very minimalistic details here on the bottom you have your coupler box here with the movable drawbar which that's nice you have your metal wheels with no turning bearing caps because this is a Walther's mainline model which even if it was it'd still be nice to have those rotating bearing caps but anyways they don't rotate um my guess is that's your control valve maybe not that might be something else but you have your brake cylinder and your piston detail that's actually your control valve there in the center of the screen to the right of that is your air reservoir and I'm not sure what that is that's on the maybe that's just supports for the for the actual car this car itself maybe that's not prototypical I don't know um, I've never seen the bottom side of these cars but I just know what a lot of the components are which makes me curious to know what this is maybe that's your retaining valve but typically your retaining valve is somewhere near your brake cylinder but it's all the way over here so but whatever it is you have some detail here on the bottom of the car not a whole lot looking more so at the a end of the car now um, wheel sets and movable coupler drawbar uh, no other detail um, taking a look down here at the I don't know the bottom side of this car but the side of it still uh, two inch comp shoes jack here some more letters and wording down in this area maybe would pick that up should be able to load limit weight limits 300 318 318 300 rather that's the CP road name road number right there jack here and two inch comp shoes so looking really quickly here at the B end of the car it's the same exact details as you guys saw there on the A end minus the brake wheel that you have here no chain detail of course no extra metal walkways but it's the same exact as the A end just in on the B end with your brake on oh, I'm sorry with your brake wheel so maybe one thing that I didn't mention is you do have a couple stirrups here on the bottom so you know you got one grab iron on each end on each corner of the car that will give you your stirrups but this is the CP version of this car so real quick guys we're gonna take a nice little look at the TTX ones but we're not gonna spend a whole lot of time on it because it's literally the exact same thing just in a different color but I'll give you guys a peek at that alright guys so now we have the TTZX a TTX essentially version out this one is the TTX number 87189 part number 9104836 I'm just taking a real quick look at it I'm gonna give you guys kind of pretty much a once over um, but it's a lot of the same exact information and style and look as you guys saw in the CP version of it. So just going to give you guys a quick look. Still have the movable coupler box and drawbar. Looking at the side of the car. Have a lot of that same information here. The same style as far as vertical and diagonal center beam supports. You have your car road name, road number. A lot of that same weight weight and load limits and stuff there. TT trailer train. Very minimalistic. Not a whole lot of detail. Of course. Brake wheel quick look at the top of the car and then a quick look here at the bottom of the car
And really guys, that's it. That's really all there is to it when trying to take a look at these center beam flat cars. And all right guys, this is the last one that I have. This is another TTX version. This one is the TTX87174. The other one was the 87189. So this is the 174 and pretty much the exact same in TTX as the other TTX, but pretty much the exact same um, as the Canadian Pacific one as well. So just a little bit, just just, just uh, another quick shot at these cars. That's pretty loose. Just notice that right off the bat. So whenever the layout, whenever the layout gets operational, when I actually get these out, gonna have to tighten up these trucks, which that's no biggie. No biggie. Other side's a lot tighter. Needs to look like, it. yeah, definitely a lot tighter. There's a lot more freedom in moving this truck here than there's in this one. But anywho, that's really not too, uh, too bad, too critical, too important, because like I said, I can always tighten the screw in there. Maybe the screw just walked out a little bit. But just taking a quick look at it, like I said, the same exact style um, center beam bracing, vertical and diagonal. Same exact look on the top. And pretty much the same exact look on the bottom. So have your movable drawbar coupler. Still got your air reservoir, your control valve, your brake cylinder, and brake piston. I'm going to say that that's your retaining valve, although it don't really look like it. But my guess is that maybe that's just the spitter valve. But rail cars don't have spitters, so... Not sure what that is, but we'll call it retaining valve for now until we find out otherwise. Because most of the time, most of the time they will model those on these cars, at least in their main line. They'll model a lot of some of the major but minor details on real cars. And then your brake end, your B end, brake wheel. No etched metal, of course, no chain. All right, time. guys, so final thoughts on this. These cars are going to be a nice addition to any layout. If you're modeling a, a lumber scene or if you're just running mixed freight trains or even if you're actually running an entire unit train of just lumber, um, these are going to make a nice addition to your layout. You can definitely have fun with them when you get your loads. Um, I don't think Walther is necessarily recommends it or actually shows you how to do it, but I'm pretty sure you can kind of cut your lumber loads down to maybe be half lumber loads instead of full vertical uh, lumber loads which you know of course once you buy them they're yours you can do what you want you can model it any way you want slice it however you want um, which is one thing that I always model is do you you have to be able to have fun with what you do and so if you want to have full lumber loads you can if you want to have half lumber loads half height lumber loads you can or if you just want to have lumber loads that stop halfway you know you can do it like that too but it's your model model how you want but anyways, these will be a very nice addition to any layout. Um, with the MSRP sitting up at 30 bucks, I don't really know if these cars are necessarily worth $30. Um, if they were maybe 20 or maybe 15, I would definitely say get on them. You know, like once again, I like hotcakes. Get them while you can, get them while they're hot. Or even like Krispy Kreme donuts. If you like Krispy Kremes, which I do, get them when they're fresh. Get them when they first come up. Um, but that's of course at the right price. So, yes, these will be a nice addition to your layout. Yes, these will make for interesting scenes and lumber loads and, and uh, models on your layout. But the, you don't want to be breaking the bank with these. And these at 30 bucks is not breaking the bank, but it's like stepping on the bank. And it's kind of really taking a nice dent in your bank if you're going to get up um, a, nice, uh, a nice amount of these. Um, but like I said, once you kind of do some online researching, I'm sure somebody's got these cars at a discount. Uh, maybe closer to 20 bucks, maybe 25 or maybe 15 or something like that. But um, I do enjoy these cars. I, I just seriously enjoy the way these cars look. I, like I said, I like these way more than the opera style cars. I just like the way that they look. I don't know. I, I, I like these cars. If I can still get them at a good price, I would definitely try to get some more. Maybe not right now because of the times coronavirus is still doing its thing and you know, this is not a time just to be spending a whole lot of money. But the wife gave me the green light to kind of spoil myself a little bit because I've really been slowing down a lot with my videos and 
buying and, and the buying of um, train related items. So, like I said, these cars are great. I, I love the way they look. Um, they actually have a pretty nice weight for them. I don't have my scale on me, so I don't know the exact weight. Um, but I can assume uh, from just the feel of them that they are going to track well if they're empty. I wouldn't have them in the front of your train because you might streamline. Um, but these they're weighted okay. Um, but I can't wait to get my layout going and get these out there with some more lumber cars. Because I'm actually starting to get a pretty nice collection of in the spirit of bulkhead bulkhead cars. I mean, these are center beam flat cars, but they have bulkheads on either end. If you were to cut this out, you would have, you know, essentially two bulkheads. Um, but I've had these scale trains, bulkhead cars. I have Walther's Seco lumber bulkhead cars. I have the Opera window flat cars. And then I now I have these flat cars. And so if I do get some more, I think I'll be, I don't know, maybe pushing about 15 of these lumber cars now. Um, which is not bad, um, but I would love to have more. Anywho, I'm rambling. So, guys, 30 bucks, 72 foot center beam flat car, Walther's main line. It's a nice addition. Don't break the bank. Get some lumber loads while they're on sale. It'll definitely help to make these cars look good. Um, until next time, guys, I'm your boy Flash Jones. I'll see you guys in the next one.